What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. And today we've got a squad around a player that has changed to a 5 star skiller on head to head and all other game modes apart from FIFA Ultimate Team and hopefully it could be a sign for the future and potentially he could be a 5 star skiller in a few months on Ultimate Team. So before we get started, as always, if you show support in this video by dropping a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and in the comments below, let me know whether I should do a video every single week discussing the new changes on the head to head database. It would be an additional video as to what I was going to upload anyway. So it's basically one extra video you begin every single week. I think the database changes every single Friday or Thursday, if I'm correct. So uh, probably Friday morning or Saturday morning. And that type of video would be very useful uh, for either head-to-head -head career mode, even potential stuff coming to Ultimate Team in the near future. So let me know down below if you would want that. Uh, today's squad is a 4-3-2-1 again. As for me personally, it's kind of my go-to formation right now. So starting off from the back and the goalkeeper. And in net, we've got Arsenal's current backup goalkeeper, David Ospina, the Colombian. He's just 79 rated, so nothing too spectacular. And he's only six foot tall. And for me, I've said in other videos, I like goalkeepers that like say six foot five plus. He's on the short side of things, but overall, I was fairly impressed at how he done in game. And he cost just 800 coins on top of that. So his stats, 83 diving, 84 reflexes, 71 handling, 78 kicking, and a 77 positioning. I think should probably be a little bit higher than a 79, but still uh, makes him to be quite a cheap goalkeeper. Then we go to the right back. We have got a player by the name of Rick Karsdorp, who plays for Feyenoord in the Eredivisie. He's six foot tall, high medium work, creates 87 pace, 71 dribbling, a 70 defending, and a 79 physical. And I believe he got a silver team of season card last year, which I'm pretty sure I did pick up, as is very good in game. Uh, so a nice well-rounded fullback, to be honest, nice and pacey. Uh, got some nice height about him as well to kind of combat the back post like corners or like whatever you call them crosses they're so difficult to deal with but having a tall fullback it kind of helps a little bit but still they need to fix them asap and uh Karsdorp is decent in game and also discard value then we go on to the first informed player the only informed player in this team i think it's from team of the week number two and that is going to be sanchez from ajax he did cost me just 20,000 coins on the week he came out, probably a little bit more than that now due to the fact he will be probably quite rare as uh, people will be storing him in their club. But 6 foot 2, medium high work rate and with an anchor card on him, apparently 81 pace, 84 defending and 89 physical. And their stats are a really, really high rated centre back, even the base ones right there, 74 pace, 75 defending and 82 physical, happy days. And he definitely felt very, very strong in game. I've just checked with anchor on, apparently he gets 99 strength in game. That's probably why as is an absolute monster. Then we got onto his partner, a player I've used now for 50 games, zero goals, zero assists, unfortunately. That is Christian Cabaselli from Watford. And he is like my go-to sense back in the Premier League right now, because with an anchor card on him, 85 pace, 85 defending and 89 physical. So them two at the back, of uh, Sanchez and Cabaselli, they're very strong. On top of him being very quick and also six foot two, he also has low high work rate. You definitely tell that in game, he does not push forward at all, and he's a brick wall at the back. Then the final player is going to be a Watford left back, Juan Camilo Zuniga. So his rating seems to go up and down most years, going up to a gold and back down to a silver, uh, but now is back as a 73 rated left back. He's 15,000 coins, but mainly he has 86 pace, 80 dribbling, 71 passing, and on top of that, four star skill moves. Now there is a cheaper way of doing this. So if you do not want to pay 15,000 coins for a silver left back, what you can do, as you can see in the midfield, uh, we've got Mendy from Leicester City. You can replace him, I think it's called Decoria or something, from Watford. And then put any left back you want from the Premier League in that left back role. So uh, Mendy for me, I've used Kante for about 75 plus games now, and I've raved about him so, so much, saying how good he is in game. And a lot of people are saying, you know what Ross, Try Mendy. Mendy's like a cheap alternative to him. And I must say, he was really damn good. He has some pretty similar stats to Kante, just he costs a lot, lot less. I think he's like 500 coins or so compared to Kante's like 40,000 coins, wherever he costs at his point in time. Medium high work rates, I think it's the same as Kante. Uh, quite small being 5 foot 6, which again, I think it's Kante's height. And uh, 16 games so far, two goals and four assists. And I kept the basic chemistry style on him because it does boost every single stat, as you can see there, by one uh, like arrow, whatever you want to call it. So uh, Mendy uh, is good in game. Then we go on to a bit of a player from the past, 
Abu Diaby, a player who in real life, his career has been ruined by injuries. But when he played for Arsenal, he was really, really good. He was a player that was actually compared to Yaya Toure quite a bit. And obviously their injuries, they did not stop. Every single time he came back from an injury, he's back for like two games and was out for like three months. Then he moved to Marseille and I believe uh, is potentially on a pay-as-you-play contract, which I don't know if he's playing too much. But on this game, one thing about him, I have got anchor card on him, which apparently gives him 72 pace, 81 defending, and a 76 physical. And with him being six foot four and also putting stay back while attacking and aggressive interceptions on him, it worked really well. But his in-game stats, they're really good for a silver. Also has a nice long shot on him, but one thing about him, um, his stamina is god awful. I think it's 34 stamina in game. So his green bar will be very, very small, if not gone by like the 70th minute, which is a bit of a problem. If you don't want to face that issue, you can get Lassane Diara. And the final midfielder is going to be this guy from Ajax, Daily Sinkraven. Um, probably said that wrong, but he's a Dutch GM. I think default a cam. I thought he had four star skill moves, that's why I put him in there. I didn't really do too much. There isn't really too much to say about him because again, I didn't really notice him in game. Uh, one thing that you probably can do is get a cheaper gold CM in there. Like I think it's called Klaassen or something. Then we go to the front three. Let's start off with a left forward. That is going to be a poor George uh, and Tep from Stad Ren. And for 1,000 coins, he's really good. He has four star skill moves, four star weak foot, 91 pace, 83 dribbling, 75 shot, and 74 passing, and 73 physical as well. So I think the very first goal I scored with him was really well played. And that will be shown during the gameplay part of the video. Uh, so 1,000 coins, a very budget player, and like a cheap gem, whatever you want to call them. Now we're going to strike a player. I did do a squad board around a couple of days ago now, Emre Moore from Borussia Dortmund. And during that video, I did say, is Emre Moore the best bronze player ever in FIFA Ultimate Team history? And I must say, in my personal opinion, uh, like a base card, by the way, not an informed card, I'd probably say so, yes. In reality, he probably should be a silver right midfielder, but I think I prefer it as a bronze striker that is very really overpowered. But with a sniper chemistry style on him, it sorts his shooting out. 14 games, 18 goals, and three assists. And one thing I want to point out today, I try to get into so, so many games, and people either quit at nil-nil, which is extremely frustrating for either loyalty or like injuries or fitness, or on top of that, uh, they either go into the game, they went 2-0 down, they just put their controllers down. And that for me is so, so annoying, especially when it comes to players' goal to game records, but Emery Moore, fantastic in game. Now we get to a guy that this video is actually built around, Usman Dembele, the wonder kid, again from Dortmund. So here is his FIFA 17 Ultimate Team player card. I'll get into the changes in just a moment. So five star weak foot, four star skill moves, left footed, 84 pace, 82 dribbling, 72 shot and 70 passing. And he played seven games getting three goals and five assists, which I think is a decent record. So the five star weak foot thing for me, that's absolutely key. But now on head to head, he has five star skill moves as well. And there we have it. There is Usman Dembele on the menu of kickoff, head to head, or career mode. So all offline game modes right now, Dembele is 78 rated, which is actually an upgrade from where he currently is right now on Ultimate Team. But if we go to here, five star skill moves, five star weak foot, and high low work rates. So that's changed from medium low to high low and four star skill moves to five star skill moves as well as going from 77 to 78. And now if we compare his stats from ultimate team to head to head right now, it says ultimate team card, 84 pace, head to head, he has 88. And that's because his acceleration went from 83 all the way up to 91. And essentially every single stat other than that is uh, pretty much the same, other than the passing, which actually went down by one because his vision went from 73 to 72. And that five star skill moves is a game changer. You can go onto offline game modes or head to head and try them out. So there is a team. Remember to let me know in the comments below whether you want me to go through the head to head updates every single week as an additional video uh, showing you new five star skillers, new upgrades and new potential changes for career mode. So let's get into gameplay and show you what Dembele can do right now on Ultimate Team. And now we move into gameplay. The first bit I want to talk about though is three and a half star teams on FIFA 17. On previous FIFA's, every other foot compared to this one. And um, previously I used to use, or always have done, use gold and silver mixed teams, which usually result in a three and a half star team with the bench and stuff on. Three and a half star was like the go-to thing. And also, when I came against teams, the same type of rating and the same type of like a uh, player, like people like hybrids and stuff like that. That's why I aim for using silver players. But now um, it seems to be full of people with uh, either having fitness issues on ultimate team and injury issues, which should be patched very soon or going for the squabble to challenge uh, loyalty bonuses, which is really frustrating. Uh, hopefully it kind of like wears off a bit in the near future. But that's one thing I noticed. 
He's a three and a half star team. Next up, we got DRB and it's 34 stamina. It will be zero like stamina by the end of the like 65th to 70th minute, which is not like a bit of an issue, you could say, but he's really good in game. If you do fight a big issue though, you can get yourself at Lassan Diara. Then we got to defense. It's very strong, fast like left back and right back, and very strong and pacey sense backs, which uh, for me is absolutely key. Uh, Mendy is very similar to Kante, who is my favorite on the game. He's just a cheaper version of him, to be honest, and a very, very budget, I'll say that. Emery Moore is a baller. I mean, I've showed in a previous squad builder before that um, there's not really too much else to say about him because I've done a video before that. And uh, finally, Dembele. He's got a lot of changes right now on head to head. Will they happen on Ultimate Team anytime soon? Potentially, I don't think the five star skill moves will be coming in until probably like say February, March, or a long, long time away from that. But having a player go to five star skills literally three weeks into the game, it's a little bit frustrating because why weren't he five star skills three weeks ago? That's one thing we'll have to wait and see. But that's one thing they change quite a bit every single week. They'll do that, guys. So, again, if you want to do videos on that, let me know down below in the comments. Also, show your support on this video by smashing the like button. And if you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content. So, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.